All right. This is a video of a Royal Navy carrier strike group. I had wanted to wait until there was a good 1 350th scale Queen Elizabeth or Prince of Wales out, but no such model has been made. But I did have the HMS Illustrious, the, quarter, the, the jump jet carrier back here. This is one of the three Invincible class, Invincible class carriers that the British built. The first one had just been commissioned when the Falkland Wars started and it went to fight. And then this one, the Illustrious, the second one, was not finished outfitting when the war started and it was rushed into service. They actually did a kind of a quasi commissioning as it made its way to the Falklands and it replaced the Illustrious as the war was ending and then it stayed on until they finished an airfield and could put ground air on the ground there in the Falkland Islands and it's well known for that. I do have two of the newer class Daring destroyers. This one here is the Dragon. As you can see up front, it's got the Dragon on it. Most of these ships, and then I've got the, uh, the Daring itself, the first in class. All three of those ships back there were built by Airfix. I then have a uh, Duke class Type 26, excuse me, Type 23, the HMS Kent. It's a great frigate, very good at uh, anti-submarine warfare. And then, of course, one of the new Astute class uh, uh, nuclear attack submarines. And uh, they are very good. They are rated as just about as good as the U.S. Uh, new class of submarine as well, the Virginia class. And, uh, of course, they, they are building those now. There's going to be seven or eight of those. There's six of the Daring class, and they're all built. And those ships, the Daring class, will be primary support ships, area, air defense, multi-mission ships, uh, for any Royal Navy carrier strike group. And uh, the Duke class, the Type 23, like the Kent here, for the next 10 or so years will remain uh, very strong frigates. They've been updated uh, with their air and with their anti-submarine warfare to be first class ASW and multi-mission ships. You can see they're carrying their anti-surface weapons there up front, just like they have now added the harpoon missiles to the uh, Type 45 Daring class ships there in the front. But the Daring class already has the new, the new missiles, both long range and medium and short range. And uh, they're, they're very, very stealthy and very good ships. So here you have it, uh, a uh, Royal Navy Carrier Strike Group. Of course, this aircraft carrier carried the Harriers, and they, they did very well in the Falklands War. Uh, the new carriers that they have built will be carrying the F-35B, the Bravo version. It's the vertical takeoff and short landing. And uh, they'll be able to carry a lot more of them, you know, up to 50 if they wanted. Uh, but I think that they will, during peacetime, take off with 24 to 30. Uh, this vessel, like most of my carriers, has a um, lighting system in the, in the hangar. It's not as easy to see what I've got in there because uh, they don't have any side hangers to look down, but it's, it's in there. And at night here on the side, you can see into the hangar through some of these openings, including this one in the very back. Let me, it's hard to see it through there because of the lighting. 
But there you have it. A Royal Navy Carrier Strike Group. I will make another video once I get one of the Queen Elizabeth ships and hopefully another, either another uh, Type 23 Duke class frigate or if they'll build the new Type 26 frigates, those are going to be the new frigates, future frigate, future combat ship or whatever they're calling it, uh, that will be very modern with better uh, missiles. I've got to say that the, if you look on the back of the Duke class here, excuse me, not the Duke class, the Daring class, they're carrying these Merlin helicopters. And it is a great anti-submarine platform. It's uh, got longer range than the Seahawk. And I think it'll carry, uh, it's capable of carrying more torpedoes. But they can only carry one of them on each of these ships. And uh, that's its downside. Great, great platform, great helicopter. But having two Seahawks whose electronics are just as good that carry two torpedoes each versus one Merlin, I think I would go for the two Seahawks because uh, they don't have quite the same range, but it's not appreciably worse and you have two of them so you can shuttle the the two subs or i mean the two helicopters around and uh, be in a position to uh, work a submarine without stop uh, when you only have one when you start running low on fuel you've got to come back in also with two, you can cover a wider area when you're doing your initial search. So it's, it's a good thing to be able to carry two very good uh, helicopters and uh, the U.S. Burke class and Ticonderoga class can do that and that's a good thing. Nonetheless, the Royal Navy has some very good equipment and a very good capability with their own carrier group and particularly when they get uh, a couple of Daring class, a couple of the new class, or these F-23 Duke class ships with at least one astute sub and either of the, Prince, of, the of the Queen Elizabeth class carries either the Queen Elizabeth or the Prince of Wales. Thanks for taking the time to watch. We've got plenty of other on this channel uh, videos of 1 350th scale battle groups. So take a look. Thanks. Bye-bye.